So what is going on guys? My name's Jamie and welcome back to Officially Gas. Today we're back with another review. This time it's in the form of this track ready E92 M3. This thing is crazy guys. It's running about 450 brake horsepower, stage two tuned. It's a beast. You do not want to miss this. So stay tuned and let's get it. So Matt, welcome to the channel. Thank you for coming down with your uh, amazing looking dream spec track ready E92 M3. Um, we actually met, for the viewers at home, we actually met at the Dino Day at uh, Surrey Rolling Road a little while ago. Um, you didn't run your car that day because you had run it the previous day About before? a month before. Um, okay, sorry, a month before. Um, and you said it, it made good figures, right? Just over 450. 450. Now, for, yeah. for, for, for one of these on a stage two, 450 is pretty damn pretty damn good, eh? Yeah, I think the, the D-Cats uh, brings out most of the power in this. Got you. Um, when I first bought the car, it was the same dyno, the Charlie's. Uh, 399 mm -hmm. and then I've done a few mods panel so only made 399 yeah. on the first wow yeah, I was pretty <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 410 or yes yeah yeah but you know they're manufacturer figures yes of course so exhaust decats and before I had it mapped uh, I wanted to see what power it was pulling with just the decats mm -hmm. and it was around about 430 which I thought was okay. a little bit ambitious yeah but yeah. that dyno you know a lot of people say dynos are sort of quote me happy yes. or some are quite greedy but I think yeah. sorry riding road in is you know it's it's a good yeah a good I've, yeah yeah quite, people do know. say it's quite a, a, f a fair dyno but it can be on the meaner side yeah I've heard more positive things about that yeah than other good uh, anyway so yeah just four four thirty three or something like that mm -hmm. and then I had it mapped uh, a company called all motion in Mitcham southwest London okay very competitive price you know okay. and he spent literally half the day on it getting it right okay you know? so it was kind of live mapped it wasn't just a generic map that went yeah it was done properly okay you know and he spent literally the whole day on it great um so after doing that took it to the dyno back at charlie's mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah 450.4 point point four. Wow, quite fast, yeah. <laughs> getting power extracting power out of these because they're uh, naturally aspirated uh, there's not a lot you can do before boosting them basically or charging them yeah. um, and charging them just to get a little bit more power I think the entry, entry level uh, I think it's ESS Motorsport or something like that yeah. they do a charger for it just to get you over like 500 brake it's like more than six thousand pounds just for the kit I think you'd be looking at roughly about 10 grand all in or, exactly. just, about, or just over that yeah you know, I've got uh, I know two guys that have got them Anthony and Dan and they're both running about 650 okay but they, you know it's another level yeah yeah you know? yeah but it's how far do you want to go and it's usable yeah. power too this this is the thing the thing is with this car I, I kind of built this for a weekend tour in track days and been going to the ring for about sort of 10 years plus and never gone this far with an m3 platform so mm -hmm. i've always thought oh no you know it's too much sacrilege ripping a nice car apart of and course making it a track tour yeah and i don't know what happened with this car i just you go to the ring you look at a few cars you get excited uh -huh. and then before you know it you're coming back and you're through demon twigs and dangerous right <laughs> and it, it kind of takes over uh -huh. and i think the moment uh the seats went in and mm -hmm. then the cage mm -hmm. and it, yeah I, I sort of went beyond the point of yeah turn, yeah you know? i guess this is a good time to actually speak about some of the uh interior and exterior mods brakes are stock tech trophies uh, -huh. uh they're sort of slightly lighter than the standard stock techs mm -hmm. i don't know if that's going to make a huge difference mm -hmm. uh six pots or so, yeah, yeah six six pots yeah. at the front yeah six pots but you've actually went the whole board. way yeah, haven't you you've got the around. you've got rear rear ones uh, too the pads are uh, rs29s mm -hmm. uh, anyone knows those pads they're sort of pretty much a track pad um endurance pad they're quite squeaky mm -hmm. yeah 
Um, but I can live with that, you know. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. the stopping power is just phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. And obviously fresh fluid every time you go out. Stuff okay, like that. wow. The suspension is KW DDC. Uh -huh. This car never had the EDC. Yes, yeah? yep, yep. So KW do a kit called the DDC, yep. which you can fine tune it a little bit more than the sort of standard one. Okay. And obviously it's adjustable. But I'm running Milway top plates, so I've got about two degrees camber. Um, the back spoiler is a GTS. Yeah, that looks rear mean. Wing. That, that wing looks mean. On the sort of GTS model. Yes. Um, what else in terms of mods? Obviously, the exhaust has got Tegiwa decap pipes. Mm -hmm. um, that is definitely, you know, bang for buck. The best thing that you can do for one of these cars is a decap. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. It really brings them to oh, life, yeah. doesn't it? A lot they? of people they... gut them, but yep. I don't think you can get the full power when okay. you gut them, you okay. know, because it, it causes too much turbulence in the pipe. Okay. So you need the proper sort of slip on decap pipes um Eisenman race exhaust it's loud yeah you know it's, it's loud I've heard this it's loud but I can live with that yeah you know? um let's talk about the cage okay so there's a guy called Paul Mumbry Mumbry Motorsports mm -hmm. and he's got a very similar car a lot of people mistake this car for his car but he's got slightly uh better mods than mine <laughs> yeah. um but he's a great guy he's probably one of the only guys I can kind of trust to work on the car and um he got the cage done for me it's his rear seat delete kit that he put in okay, there. Okay. I bought the seat, so he fitted it all out, and mm -hmm. he also done all the uh, the four wheel alignment and the setup. Got you. you know, so. is, is that weight saving bike? Because obviously you, you, you're you're down your rear seats now. You got a cage in there. Did you lose any weight, or did the, you gain it back with the cage? Quite heavy, mm -hmm. but overall it's definitely saving weight. Uh -huh. The front seats on these stock they're so heavy. Uh -huh. They are really really heavy. Uh -huh. When you take them out. Um, you'll feel how heavy they are. The seats are in and out of pole positions. You can literally pick them up with your fingers. Yeah, they look yeah. amazing too. And not only that, all the hardware for the rear seat belts and stuff like that, you put it in the carry bag and it's like the weight of the <laughs> so, you know, it, it There you go. So there's definitely, yeah, there's definitely uh, savings there. The gear shifter now. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw that, I thought, I, I looked into the car and I thought, okay, it's a, uh, it's, it's, it's a dual clutch and he's just put an extender on it something because it's it's almost got like the um, E46 M3 bezel round yeah, it or I something like that. I modified the sort of uh, gator myself. It's really the cool. the reason why is when you put a chassis mounted shifter on uh -huh. there, you have to get rid of a, a massive rubber bung that sits in between the prop tunnel mm -hmm. and the actual sort of where your original gator goes. Mm -hmm. The heat that it throws in in the summer is just phenomenal. Yeah. So yeah. I, I couldn't believe the amount of heat that was coming from yeah, the yeah, car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had to sort of build something to stop the heat. It looks cool through. as hell though. So that's proper my, individual. And that's a short yeah. shifter, right? That you've yeah. got on it? So it's RTD, mm -hmm. it's a carbon chassis mounted short shifter. Um, it's sort of sprung loaded. When you drive it, you're, you're, you're filled. It's, it's the best thing I could ever do for the track. Got you. Okay, cool. I, I think we've pretty much touched on it all. Um, let's get out of it, eh? Okay. Great, wicked. <laughs> Early generations, E36s and E46s, and oh, so you're, a, you're an M guy, kind yeah. Of through and through. Oh, wait, I kind of sort of cut my teeth on the E30s back in the 90s, and you know I love a BMW. Yeah, but, yeah, um, yeah. Been going to the ring for about sort of 10 or more years. Okay. And, um, always wanted to build myself a, a track, like a track yeah, tour, yeah. you know, a track yeah, car, but. Yeah. Um, it's always been sort of budget, sacrilege of the car, you know, what is it gonna sort of devalue the car? Yeah, yeah. And then obviously sort of getting into the community with people with track cars uh, and taking up right at the top. Uh, and, and and people like that, you realise there is a market for things like that. So, you know, it, it, if you put the right stuff on there, it, uh, it can be a fairly good investment. Of course, and, and guys, I don't know if the cameras picked this up, but honestly, this car, the way it's <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. that those tires oh are really my god. Guys, this, this car is like a, a, a piece of artwork to me anyway. Someone who can truly appreciate an E92 M3. Like, this is literally dream spec. Like, the 
sound of it, the look of it, the carbon touches, like honestly, mate, spot on, spot on. And these seats, I feel, I feel like I'm in a race car. I feel they're, still, like a, they're, they're still comfortable. But they, yeah, they're comfy. You know? Yeah, they're comfy. They're I comfy. can quite happily do sort of 400 miles to the ring and sort of sit there and knock it out, go, go back out. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. You know. Oh, mate, I'm, I'm loving it. This, this is just, uh, this is just amazing. I, also, one thing that um, I like to mention is when I got my E92 M3, it was, it was almost like my introduction to the kind of the proper car scene. Yeah. And it, it was like nothing I had ever driven before. It was literally, I felt like I was in a race car. And we spoke earlier about these cars sounding like a tuned NASCAR. If, if you literally, if you open the exhaust up a little bit, like, you know, and they're a bit funky when they're uh, stock, but when you open the exhaust up, they sound, the, the sound and the balance, oh, mate, I'm, I was in heaven and I still am. I remember the, the, the M button on there, which basically yeah. with one press, it just kind of adapts all your settings to, right, yeah. it, it goes from normal to full ASBO real quick, if, if that makes sense. And when you hit that, the throttle response on these, yeah. it's just, ah, oh, it's just amazing. You, you don't want to drive it without the M button on, purely yeah. because of that sort of, it just feels, exactly. you know, it, it just picks up. I don't think it's going to give you extra power as such. No, I, I think, I, didn't they? I think it sort of advances the ignition, so it just feels a bit sharper. Yeah, but, yeah. I, I think it was the, M5 and the M6, they have a similar button and I think that actually does give you more power yeah, from the normal driving yeah. mode or yeah. something like that. But with this, it's purely just to sharpen up that, the experience. jump in one of these and drive yeah. it in the dry okay you give it a little bit too much in a corner you're in yeah. a bush yeah. like do you know what i mean yeah. especially these conditions in, in, in these conditions yeah absolutely so. and it's sort of it's when you turn the wheel and it's the sort of transfer between when you change gear whilst it's turning and it sort of catches again oh, that's right you know ABS. 
time. Uh, Fine, it's, it's, it's going yeah. to corrode, and I'll um, I'll reset it. <laughs> this shifter, oh my god, it's such a short shifter. Woo. I feel like I'm in a race car, Jesus. Ah, uh, slow and steady. Oh, that shifter, such a short throw, isn't it? Yeah. Wow, that's that's amazing. That is proper mechanical. That is proper mechanical. <laughs> That's crazy. Right guys, we've actually had to pull over here um, for a second because we've actually had a ABS fault come up on the dash. Um, uh, Matt actually carries a scanner with him to, 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 to see faults on the car um, at, at different times. And we've worked out that it's actually- ABS pump. ABS pump is gone. So on top of already seeing how hard this car is to control with ABS. In this kind of weather, we are now driving with no ABS and no traction control, so. And very slippy tires. And very slippy tires, so obviously I'm not gonna be pushing it that hard, I'm just gonna get a feel of the car, but, um, what can you do? It is what it is. I bet you're shitting yourself now. I am now, <laughs> yeah. Guys, the show must go on. <laughs> more for me now is is a bit more of a nostalgic drive but do you know what the the feel of this gear shifter really does it oh man it, it's, it's so race car it's, it's properly race car i mean on track it, it just makes so much sense to have that you know be careful <laughs> so paranoid now 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 we've got no abs it is literally yeah, you know yeah it's probably on we're in the hands of the gods not the abs <laughs> But the thing is, you know, I mean, you're a mechanic as well, you know, you know, yeah. when you drive a car with ABS or even M Dynamics, yeah. the stuff that's happening in the background that you don't feel or see yeah, with each wheel pulsing and braking when you need it, when you've yeah. got nothing, you know, it's, yeah, especially in these conditions. Yeah. Just the sound, man. And this is like quarter for all. Like I could, I could listen to it all day. Um, I would be lying if I said I weren't a little bit fucking scared. But You're scared. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a shame, isn't it? It wasn't uh, in the dry, and you know. But this is cars, and this is this is tuning, yeah. isn't it? This this is it. It's, like it's do you know what I mean? This, this yeah. is what happened. You know. So guys, look, we're gonna end the video there. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't push the car how we wanted to push the car. Obviously, the weather wasn't how we wanted it to be, and the ABS pump wasn't. So, unfortunately, we didn't get to push it hard, but I hope you guys um, were able to appreciate um, what Matt has actually done with this car and um, what kind of an animal he's created. Um, Matt, thank you. Thank you so much for even in these conditions, still letting me have a go in your car. I, I really do appreciate it. Um, so yeah guys, I mean, um, if you enjoyed it, uh, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Um, check out some of my other videos too, I'm sure you like them. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.